We have the dynamic chassis, which is standard on most markets. This chassis gives you a connected, responsive, and agile touch, giving the SMV60 a real dynamic character. These chassis are one of the best in their segments. We also now can offer the lowered sport chassis, which previously was only available on our R design vehicles. We also offer a touring chassis, which is somewhat more comfortable. And we have the electronically controlled 4C chassis. And something that I'm very proud and happy to, to introduce is the 19-inch wheels, which you can see on these two cars. Yeah, and if we then look at the car from a three-quarter front, you can notice how we have a very vertical upright grille. And this is something very typical for Volvo. We have the strong iron mark in the center and the very distinctive diagonal. And the grille, that's then the start of this fuselage shape that is sculpted out of the body. So it really starts at the grille, sweeps over the bonnet, into the side glass and then tapering in the rear, giving a very dynamic center shape to the car. And as, as Stefan said, we have 19s now, and I think that really gives the car a great stance and really nice proportions. The shoulder line is slightly wedged to give the car a strong sense of direction, and it has a bit of a muscle over each wheel, which makes it look really powerful and athletic. The silhouette is very fast, very coupe-like, and the trend towards four-door is something that Volvo started with the first generation of S60. The very characteristic C-pillar is reappearing in this generation also. If we then move over to the V60, these cars have a lot in common. They share the same face, the same design features I explained earlier on the S60, but of course with a different silhouette. This is the estate, very versatile, with extra loading capacity, and it also has a very fast silhouette. This is really a sports wagon. If we then look at the V60 from the rear, we have the very characteristic taillights, vertical orientation, and really pronouncing the shoulder. And the shoulder is also something very, very strong in Volvo's identity. And if we look at the S60 from the rear, it also has the shoulder pronounced by the light guides. Another interesting feature on the tailgate of V60 is this low glass line. And this is something that is inspired by the P800 ES that was known for a really low glass line. And we're linking back to that heritage for this car. And then, in the lower portion, we've extended the body color further down, bringing the car down towards the road. And to finish it off, we have the nicely integrated tailpipes. Scandinavian design. Scandinavian design is all about beauty, clean shapes and surfaces. We paid a lot of uh, attention to details when redesigning the interior of the 60s. We're working with authentic materials, materials such as wood and leather, and seats. Volvo seats are world class. And today we're able to offer a new sports seat. These sports seats have a hugging side support from the thighs all the way up to the shoulders, making these 60 cars true driver's cars. It will keep the driver in position on the twistiest roads. And we have not compromised with the comfort either. We've had a test panel of up to 100 people with different sizes and shapes, and we've had an absolutely enthusiastic feedback. Other new features that we have in these cars. The pedal shift, which is now available on all our trans automatic transmissions. We have heated steering wheel and heated windscreen. Very handy up here in Scandinavia.